Does Recycled Exotics hurt Destiny 2? Well, let's find out today, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So today I actually want to go ahead and talk about Recycled Exotics in Destiny 2. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Shadow Keep giveaway for the month of August 2019, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, and follow me on Twitter. Also, a link to the giveaway will be in the description box below. At the end of this video, I will go ahead and let you guys know who the winner of the Destiny 2 Shadow Keep um, giveaway for the month of July 2019 is as well. So stay tuned for that. Now, starting today, I want to be the rule instead of the exception. What this means is that I'm going to start doing Destiny 2 content that I feel should be out there and not just what everyone else is doing. Growing this channel is a learning curve and I want to be in the beginning of that curve rather than at the end. This does not mean that I will not be doing the weekly reset or Zerv videos, but I am going to be expanding the channel a little on the content and going to be a little bit more original. With that said, today I want to talk about if Recycled Exotics actually hurts the Destiny 2 game, franchise, etc. If you guys have your own opinions, let me know in the comments section how you feel about Recycled Exotics and we could actually talk about it a little bit. So, if you are new to the game or don't know what I'm talking about, the concept of Recycled Exotics is pretty simple. Bungie has been slowly bringing back exotics that were previously in Destiny 1 into Destiny 2. I can't remember all of them, but one of the very first exotics that was brought from Destiny 1 to Destiny 2 is the Mita Multi-Tool. Back when Trials of Osiris was a thing in Year 1, Destiny 2, before changing the name to Trials of the Nine, the Mita Multi-Tool was all over. It was hard to find a team without at least one opponent running Mita, and the majority of the teams were actually having two to three people that were actually running Mita. Some would actually say it even ruined the game since people used Mita more than any new weapons from Destiny 2. Now, this is not saying that other weapons weren't being used as well. This is just an example. But it's not just weapons, it's armor too. So far, all of the weapons that have been recycled, and forgive me if I missed one, are the Mita Multi-Tool, Soros Regime, The Chaperone, The Last Word, Jade Rabbit, Lord of Wolves, Thorn, Sleeper Simulant, The Queen Breaker, Whisper of the Worm, Truth, from which I still can't get a Corsair Down badge to drop, and the recently released Bad Juju. As for exotic armor, we have the Celestial Nighthawk, Helmosain 14, Skull of Dire Ahamkara, an Insurmountable Skull Fort, Apotheosis Veil, Graviton Forfeit, Knucklehead Radar, ACD Zero Feedback Fence, aka the Active Contact Defense System for those who don't know, Sealed Ahamkara's Grasps, Young Ahamkara's Spine, Ophidian Aspect, Claws of Ahamkara, Dune Marchers, Shinobu's Vow, Crescent Alpha Loopy, Lucky Raspberry, Armamentarium, and Starfire Protocol, just to name a few. Once again, forgive me if I actually forgot some. Now, the majority of these exotics stayed the same from Destiny 1 to Destiny 2. Some of them actually had name changes coming into Destiny 2, and some actually had perk changes like the Young Ahamkara Spine, which increased the Trip My Grenade duration and gave you an extra grenade charge in Destiny 1, but in Destiny 2, you don't get an extra grenade and instead just energy towards another grenade, if the grenade that you actually threw does damage to an opponent. So by now, you're probably wondering what is the point of all this? Well, the point I'm trying to make is that I feel that some of the recycled exotics have a place in Destiny 2 and some don't. In PvE, an exotic that is recycled from Destiny 1 should be a good choice to use for damage for strikes, raids, etc. But it should not be so powerful that it is the only option. A perfect example of this is in Warmind when the Sleeper Simulant was recycled. It was the go-to weapon for PvE boss damage and some people wouldn't even allow you to go into the raid with them unless you had one, just like they did back in Destiny 1 with the Gallowhorn. Ah, G-Horn, I miss ya. That's one exotic that needs to get recycled. I'm joking, so many people would hate that. <laughs> and the same goes for the Sleeper when it comes to Gambit. Now, as of this video, in PvP, Truth is the most used heavy weapon, whether it be in Quick Play, Comp, Iron Banner, etc. But this is where the Bungie Sandbox team comes in. They have done an amazing job with balance over the past year and hopefully will continue to do so when Shadowkeep is released. But 
Bungie. If you're gonna recycle exotics, the proper balance of exotics is what the game actually needs. Don't just bring an exotic over from D1 to D2 just to bring it over and have it be crap or way too overpowered. Let there be an actual reason to bring it over. Something as far as taking exotics from Destiny 1 and actually saying that they were just prototypes and give them a stronger yet better version for D2. That, in fact, would be a good reason to recycle exotics. So technically, it wouldn't actually be the old weapon, but yet an upgrade. Also, IMO, some exotics that are recycled pretty much really doesn't need to be touched and are perfect the way they are. A good example of this is the Young Ahamkara Spine that I mentioned earlier. When it comes to the Young Ahamkara Spine, from D1 to D2, the intrinsic perk should have remained the same where you actually get a second grenade charge. However, even though this may be just one issue, when Destiny 2 Shadowkeep is released, we will be getting a few more recycled exotics over time. One of them being the Monte Carlo. The Monte Carlo was teased in the Destiny 2 Shadowkeep Vidoc when the Titan actually landed on the moon. I also did a what to expect video on Shadowkeep if you guys would like to check that out and it's gonna be at the top right of the screen right now. But like I said, a good balance and reason to bring over recycled exotics from Destiny 1 to Destiny 2, besides the obvious, we're bringing older exotics to D2, is what I feel is best for the game. So, what do you guys think about recycled exotics? Do you like that they actually are coming to D2? Do you hate that it's not new content? Or do you agree with what I said in the video? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and let's actually discuss it. Real quick. The winner of the Destiny 2 Shadowkeep giveaway for July 2019 is Michael A. Salazar from Wilmington, Delaware. Congratulations on the giveaway. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you soon, and I will see you guys in the next video.